Hey guys, Lil Robert here, back again for another video, and here we have a, here we have Iron Wolf, if you don't know what this character is, I'll tell you about him. It's another fan made character that I made, it's half Iron Man, half Voltron. <laughs> the hands are from the Hulkbuster that got his arm ripped off and had to replace it with a different looking one. It kind of looks different, yet both of them are the same. And I use some of the glowing pieces for the bottom. I can also probably use some of my technique skills to let the main figure send the bottom, but I don't want to do that. And here we have the head. It's supposed to be iron. The size of it is probably the size of this guy. Hold on. Yeah, it's the same size. Roughly the same size. And I like it. And here's another size comparison with this dude. He's roughly about near his arms. Alright, come on, dude. He's roughly about near his arms. I tried with Batbot and it was very tall. Batbot with wins. So yeah. Sonic. Reach to his leg as well. And another Lego figure. This is Buddy. My dog passed he passed away. That's a sad story. And it roughly reaches right to half of his head. Yeah. I'm going to put that figure back. And he has the Iron Man core. And he will be the size of Iron Munger. And he's roughly based on, or more based on Voltron. Now, that is will be the Iron Core. It's called the Module Energy Shooter, or the Galaxy Module Shooter. And his hands have that little rotation look. The feet is, has fur. The hands have some fur. Articulation is good. And the gray Lego pieces... That gray joint piece that you see on all my ball joint creations, it broke. One of them actually broke and the other one is not. So I had to use I had to use one of these pieces. One of these black pieces right there. Yeah, I had to use both of them on each side. And it actually shocked me when it broke. These two down here, they didn't broke. It glows pretty good and his eyes glow too. See that? They glow. And there's Claudette. Hey Claudette. Hey girl. <laughs> She's always friendly. And pretty much. It looks good, it's very articulated, and I just upgraded his arms right a few seconds ago, and that was the final upgrade. So, yeah. Because every single creation I did off uh, camera, it I suddenly got boring. But in one of my videos, you heard me build Smile Dog, and I actually did it off camera. And Smile Dog might return, and also a few other creations I tried to build, like Draw Kit animatronics, D Man animatronics, and also Smile Dog as well. So they might appear in a later video. If I get tired, I might build the Draw Kit animatronics or Smile Dog. I might build Smile Dog with that head. That's why I build Smile Dog based off. Or that is a dog game trunk. I might build him off of that. So yeah, year one. It's a 50-50 chance. But anyway, bye.
Also, I use these glowing eyes for our animatronics. That animatronic also have it, too. Bye.